him. What happened to you? You're bleeding. After Seth got us out from the cells, we thought we would be escaping all on our own. Good to see ya, Blaskovich. Jesus, a boy, a man. Let's get out of here. Kinder, let's, let's go. Boy, boy. Anyway, boy. Oh, no. Oh, the parts are so Here we go again. Alright, hurry up. Get the fuck up there. Stop being so slow. Skip this shit. No loading. Fuck loading. Skip it. Skip it. Machine man, clear the room. Better not do it again. He didn't. Okay, get the fuck out of here. I have no weapons. Nope. Oh. Fuck, what do I do? No weapons. I got two grenades. I'm probably gonna cut these canisters open, I'm thinking. I got two grenades and nothing to shoot. Fine then. Fucking have your grenade, asshole. Ow. What happened? You didn't get stunned for long enough. Gotta be something to do with the grenades. Fuck! I gotta throw a throwing knife in him, I think. I think grenade to stun him than throwing knife. Gotta find a throwing knife now though. Shit. I'm about to die, I gotta start over. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> Let's try again. Here we go. I got him. You in there? Lost us. Damn. 
a better place than this. All right, put him out of his misery. Very nice. Damn! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Fried brains. Oh shit! He's in a fucking mech warrior. Yeah. Oh, I finally got my gun back. What the hell's charging him? Something charged him. Something grenade to stun. Not what I wanted. What the fuck, dude? Why did my gun knock out of my hand and now I'm dead? What the fuck? Yeah, I went to go alternate fire. The gun switched to knife. Yes, that's what I did. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay, what do I do here? Anything? Let's see. I'm trying to see what's on the outskirts here. And I'm dead already! What the fuck? I died already! I died already. <laughs> Again with this. What the hell, you fucking idiot? Alright, what am I doing here? What is this? A turret. What the hell? Oh. Okay. I took a fucking limp out. No, I don't. I don't give a shit about them. I do care that for some reason, even though I'm running full speed, I'm about to die. Look at that bullshit! You're running full speed, you still get killed? Come on! Are you fucking serious? Why do you get take so much fucking damage? Take way too much damage, dude. What the fuck? Now he falls off the staircase. Come on. I don't know what else to do. Let me get behind the guard here. What do I do now? Are there more blimps? I can't see. See, there's a giant thing electrocuted up there. I don't know what to do with it, though. I got every fucking... 
weapon on the planet. Look. What to do? So I have an easy way in here to recharge now. What the fuck is fifty percent of my light for what? Oh my god! I don't know what to do, and I'm about to die. I have no health, so I can't leave here. I'm stuck. I'm dead. I'm dead because I don't know what the fuck to do. Well, dead. Gotta do it again. I don't know what to do. I took out the two blimps. It had no effect on anything. Do it again, even though I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Take these two out, then what do I do? Because it doesn't take a shield down. I thought it would, it doesn't. Look, his shield's still up. Now what do I do? I don't know what to do now. Killed him? Before the day is done, I will have you at the end of my play. I did. Enforce your surrender. I killed him. Oh Lord.
Where is he? I can't see him. Holy shit. Big health boost. Holy crap, he's tough. I need health. I did it! Oh my god, I think I did it! Whew. Let's make sure. He's done. Finish him! Yeah! Yeah! You chose well, Captain Belasco. Revenge time! Too. Oh shit, he's got a grenade. Ow. So? Fuck it, he's dead. Oh my god! Captain, we are in position. The nuclear cannon is armed. Permission to fire? <laughs> Yes, fire, My end it. With a torch, whose flame is the imprisoned lightning, and her name, Mother of Exiles. Tell me, you're tired. You're poor. She's like the Statue of Liberty. The mass is yearning to breathe. Yep, that's what she represents, the Statue of Liberty. Views of your teeming shore. Send these. The homeless. Oh god, he's fucked. Nuke it. Can you hear me, Captain? Am I clear to fire? <laughs> You're clear. And so the saga of BJ Blaskowitz ends. Blaskowitz, Blaskowitz, however you say it, depending on who you are. They did it! They succeeded! They ended the Third Reich. I believe that the stars keep shining all through the Nice. Night. It's a good ending. Happy ending. I believe if we just keep trying, it'll be all right. I believe that someday we're gonna find out. The fields, oh, the fields. I believe. Day. 
and penis extension surgery. I believe that someday we'll be satisfied. Oh, sad the fields. I believe the angels listen, God hears us pray. And I believe in a beautiful day. Yeah, I believe it's gonna work out okay oh. Not for me Not for you Aww. Well, that's fucked up I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe Brian Bloom was BJ Blaskowicz I believe, I believe I see if we see any familiar names here in the voice acting. Nothing so far. Nah, nothing. They went with all original, original, uh, you know, people who wouldn't normally do voice acting for American games. I believe there's an answer waiting when the day is done. I believe if you just keep searching, you'll find someone. I believe that you and I just lost our way. And I believe in a beautiful day. I still believe in a beautiful day. Ooh. But not for me and not for you. I know you tried. I tried too. Ooh. Written by Chris Isaac. Sometimes it's all dreams just don't come true here's all the different versions all the uh, songs coming out all the German songs <laughs> I believe I believe I believe I believe great soundtrack I in this believe, game I believe I believe I believe I believe Hitler's a fucking douchebag. I hope he sat and spun on a large gorilla sized dildo. Oh, yeah. Great game. Really well done, you know, this is one of those ones, I, mean, I have to say this is much better than the Wolfenstein I played years ago, right? The Wolfenstein that I played a few years ago was more of like, okay, let's just do a really overblown first-person shooter with crazy-ass monsters and mutants and shit. This was more seriously done, a very, very good, enthralling story, characters you get to know and care about, cool optional uh, cutscenes and optional things to do. An alternate way to play the game, depending on the choice that you make, even though I've heard it really does not affect the actual overall game that much. If I had made the other choice and saved Fergus, then instead of lockpicking doors, I would have been hacking panels, which opens up certain chests and certain uh, shortcuts that go different ways through the stages. I've heard it's really not worth the second playthrough from what people online are saying. But, yeah, an 8-10 to 10 hour long, really solid FPS, great gameplay, variety in the gameplay... Uh, you know, not just run and gun. Stealth actually having a big part of it in certain parts. I really enjoyed this game. I was very, very presently surprised. Better, uh, excuse me, better than the last Wolfenstein outing for sure. And in a year, this year, where really we've had a lot of dry spells, this was kind of the ray of hope, right? That kind of came out of nowhere. I don't think anyone was thinking, oh, Wolfenstein, the new order, this is going to be a great one, I can't wait. More people were like, well, I like Wolfenstein, we played the previous id software games, it'll be solid. But people didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. 
and it definitely is great. I actually like this game better than uh, Rage a few years back, which was the last major id software outing that came out for, you know, PC and then consoles. I think this is better than Rage. I really do. I think it was more well done. But of course, as you know, with the, everyone, oh, this game has no multiplayer and it is a first person shooter. Six out of ten. Like, come on, man, really? The only actual complaint I have about the game is that at the end there, we're crashed at the final boss fight. That's the only complaint I have. It should not have crashed at the final boss fight and fucking deleted my save file. I mean, what the hell? But, I mean, the good news is once you know how to get through the stages, you could literally speedrun through them, and that's what I did. I was able to skip right back to the end of the final boss fight. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Right? I'm, I'm, again, I like to be pleasantly surprised. And all this week I've been playing this game. I thought this was going to be like a two-streamer. You know what I mean? It's two, two sittings. I'm done with the game. No. I played this three major streams and a, a later stream too. So it's basically 10 to 12 hours of gameplay on your first go-around. Keep in mind, I didn't find all the collectibles. I didn't even dabble in the Enigma Code stuff. So there's a lot of other content I didn't do yet. Uh, and I like the game a lot. Really well done. This gives me a lot of hope for do the next Doom. Even though it kind of got scrapped and they're starting over, supposedly. That's the rumor. Uh, it still gives me a lot of hope if it's the same guys in software team working on it. I think it's going to be outstanding. This is a, co a cool preview of what to expect, I think. And let's face it. You know, the amount of production value, the graphics were amazing. All the stuff that was in this game, if they had tacked on multiplayer, it probably would have taken away from the game. That's why I hate people who have that closed mind. It doesn't have multiplayer, it's a shooter, it sucks. Like, come on. You know, there's people who are going to go play Call of Duty online, non-stop. Let them do that. But there's also games that should have great stories, and this is one of them. Wait a minute, what's this? Helicopter sound. Liberation, gold trophy. I wonder if the helicopter sound signifies that they came and got BJ at the end and he didn't die. It might be. That might be signifying that he didn't die, that they actually did get him before uh, before they set off the nuke. So there you go, a little Easter egg. Alright, so that is it. That is the conclusion of Wolfenstein The New Order on PS4. I hope you enjoyed it, and I do apologize again that there were some pixelization issues during the playthrough. It seems like with these next-gen consoles, with the amount of colors, the amount of detail that they're pumping through, that, uh, you know, having an external capture device running through a PC that's not exactly super fast isn't going to cut it anymore. The good news is, very shortly, I'm going to be, you know, in the next couple of months, hopefully upgrading my PC, getting a new one, and when I do, hopefully I'll be using an internal capture device, a much faster processor, and hey, maybe we can even upgrade to a higher resolution, higher first per, uh, FPS, who knows? We'll have to see what happens with that, but I am definitely looking forward to the next gen. But this game looked great. So, all right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me, whether it was on Twitch TV, whether it was on YouTube, on demand. I appreciate your viewership, and I will see you next time for another great next gen title. Peace out.